Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. For those that are new, my name is Tracy. For those that are not new, welcome back. So today's video is just gonna be a day in the life. Um, yeah, I don't even know what I'm gonna do today, but I'm like, might as well pick up the camera and start recording. So yeah, subscribe if you haven't already and join this channel. <laughs> I can't make that any prettier than that. Um, right now, the baby is sleeping. I had a headache last night. Like, ya como la noche, I got a headache, and then I got a headache, like, this morning. I feel like I took medicine last night, like, in the middle of the night, and it took it away, but then I woke up with it again, and then it kind of went away, but it's still kind of, like, there. So, maybe I just need to eat. So, um, I'm gonna make myself a salad. Yeah, once in a lifetime. That's probably, that's, like, that's probably why I'm recording, because it's, like, once in a lifetime things. Like, I haven't recorded in a while. I'm gonna eat a salad. How odd is that? I don't know. I'm just gonna get a bowl and then I have this salad. Okay, I'm not gonna eat all of it, obviously. But I'm gonna eat some of it. So, before it gets bad, you know? So, so oh, like that much? It comes with a kit of things. I'll probably eat the rest later today so then that way, no saca fail. I don't really like cheese, so I'm not, well, like shredded cheese like that. Para que digo que no me gusta el cheese y como quesadillas como todos los días. ¿Ya? Bacon bites. I'm going to save some for later. I like these little breadcrumbs. So. I'm not even showing you guys like literally what I'm doing. Huh? A ver, ahí les va. Ahí donde la abrí. Yeah, and it comes with some pepper. Alright, and then we're gonna put all this back in that one packet for later. Oh my gosh, how delicious does this look? <sighs> Alright, so now I'm going to eat some ensalada. Wow. Actually, this ensalada looks so good. And the only reason why I was like, mm, maybe I should drink some ensalada. Eat, drink. Maybe I should eat some salad was because I made this chicken last night. And then I was like, ooh, I'm going to shred it and I'm going to eat it as a salad. So, yeah. Yum. So good. Don't forget to put lemon on your salad because that just tops it off. I was gonna use a real lemon, but that way when I add it, cutting it, when I have that lemon juice. Good. That was so good. Thank okay. you. You're welcome. Thank you, Lord. Amen. You're so busting, busting. Busting, busting? Okay. Go help. Go. I, get, I eat the orange one. Go help your brother clean up your room. Okay. So yesterday, I literally cleaned up my whole house. Now, it's been a month and four days since I had the baby. A month and three days since I had my surgeries. And I feel like yesterday was the first time that I kind of like deep cleaned my house. I feel like before I was just like barely touching like touching surfaces, barely doing anything. Just because like I don't want to somehow hurt my incision which is tiny it's already probably gone uh i'll show you guys so it looks nice but i mean i don't know if it's gonna you know, like your line. Um, it's still dark within the belly button and down here. Acá ya se hizo como que media lighter. But it was dark, obviously, and then it gets lighter. 
Um, so yeah. Um, I'm not feeling too bad about where I'm at with the incision. It feels like it's good, but I'm still being a little cautious more. I'm still being cautious about it just because like I don't want my guts coming out of nowhere. <laughs> Um, the last time I went to the doctor, I think it was, when did I go? Oh, it was like two weeks after I went to the doctor so they can check my incision. They said everything was good. And I was weighing 135. Like, that was like my goal weight. <laughs> I don't know how much I weigh now, but 135, wow. Wow. Uh, <laughs> but I feel like maybe it's because of breastfeeding. Because, you know, obviously when you breastfeed... Um, it helps you with all of the bloatiness, I guess. That's what you say. And then also, I've been wearing a faja. Not like an actual faja. But it's one of those wraps that you wear when you want to work out. And like, it's, um, I don't know. It kind of makes you sweat from the inside. Like, the inside of the faja makes you sweat. I wore that from like, after like the first week. I've been wearing that. And I haven't worn it for like the last, probably like for like the last couple days. But, um... I did wear it for the whole month and not not because like it was uncomfortable it was actually comfortable it actually like it kind of felt like it was securing everything but it wasn't super tight where like I felt like it was squishing me like I have some other fajas that I had bought <coughs> I have some other fajas that I had bought for that and they're still they feel so tight like they just feel like literally like they're trying to sculpt my body and I wasn't trying to sculpt my body I was just trying to like keep everything together and I feel like that one's great because it's like, it, um, I don't even know what you call it. It's like those that sticky stuff. Like It's not like the little hooks that keeps it together. It's like the little like sticky thing. So like the band itself is like big and then you can only, you can always like go to what feels comfortable for you, which is great. And then eventually I did kind of cut it down a little bit just because it had a lot of excess to it that I didn't need that much. And yeah, so yeah. Um, a lot of jibber jabber. Oh. It's like when you're trying to watch somebody eat, but it'll come and fail. <laughs> Anyways, I am. I finished the Grey's Anatomy uh, series, obviously. I didn't realize that it was the last episode on Netflix, so I didn't pay much attention to the last episode which i feel like i should watch the last episode but i've been watching the walking dead now <laughs> re-watching it i should say um i haven't watched like all of it completely where i'm at right now i hadn't watched that so like i'm on season four i think and there's like a lot of seasons so yeah i'm gonna be stuck on that walking dead <laughs> santi's like mom why are you watching this i'm like i don't know I'm like, it's not real. No. But yeah. Anyways, let me eat. Watch my show. And I'm going to probably wash the dishes. I already sweeped here. Even though it was clean from yesterday. I had to sweep again because my kids make a mess. Right when they wake up, they make a mess. So yeah, limpia. Ahorita los mandar limpia el cuarto. But I really doubt it. I really doubt that they fix their bed. I cleaned up. I did clean their, their room too. So, their room should be like super clean. It's just the bed and their teddy bears. I'm like, if y'all want these teddy bears, y'all need to organize them. Because then they're going to donations. I literally have a pile of donations. I'll probably drop them off later today. So, yeah, stay tuned for that. I don't know if I should drop them off at the church. I think I'm going to drop them off at the church so they're free, you know. But, yeah, that's that. I'll see you guys. A ver qué hago next. I'll probably, by the time that I see you guys next... I'll probably be re getting ready because I mean I'm gonna eat wash my plate help the kids clean their room because obviously and then pick up my clothes pick up the baby's clothes yeah <laughs> I don't know when I'll see you guys next I'm not trying to like bring you guys along to everything because es lo mismo hago lo mismo todos los días limpio you know what we're so good no yeah. You know what sounds so good with the salad? Fucking hot Cheetos. <laughs> and a pop. But everyone in this household finishes my pops. I mean, like, this is good, but... Literally... I noticed that I was gonna be back, but, like... 
literally my mom has had me on this like literally the cuarentena diet <laughs> if you guys know what that is like i couldn't eat chile for like ever which i probably still can't i mean it's been a month that's 30 days okay so next week is my cuarentena but can't eat chile for like 40 days beans i think i can eat that stuff now she said and she didn't say but she saw me eating chile the other day on my food she didn't say nothing so and then pop i couldn't drink pop because it's like gassy like pop is in the gas so it's gonna bloat your belly but as you come out you know how like you feel bloated when you drink pop so basically like the baby would also feel bloated and then it wouldn't be so well for her like her belly and then her little belly button um but i can drink pop now thank god mm, i do drink more water too just because you know when you're breastfeeding you dehydrate yeah you couldn't eat beans because they blow you up the man <laughs> I don't really eat that many hot chips. I'll eat like, like I barely started, probably like not that long ago. Like eating like one or two, or like five, but not like my whole bowl of chips, like hot chips. Because obviously, whatever you eat, the baby eats with breast milk. And I don't want. I heard, I read somewhere that if you eat spicy stuff or you drink like pop. Or like caffeinated stuff that when when you breastfeed the baby, like the baby could get fuzzy, and that's why they get fuzzy. I don't know. I don't know if that's true or not. And I also read that um, you know, like the newborns, like they barely sleep at night. They barely sleep during the day. And you know how some people are like, well, don't let them sleep during the day, you know? But I don't know if that, that's for, like, bigger kids. Because I read somewhere that for, like, newborns, if they get their good naps during the day, then they'll sleep, obviously, their good nap during the night. And which makes sense, because if you throw them off, they're going to be thrown off at night, too, you know what I mean? You're not going to know what to expect. So, yeah. Here I am surviving. Last night, the baby literally was, like... On and off, like from one, two, three, probably four in the morning. She was like, she was off and on. Like every hour, she would like kind of wake up a little bit, eat for a little bit, go to sleep, which was a little odd because, like, usually she'll literally wake up every two to three hours to eat. Well, she kind of wakes up and then I'll feed her, change her, burp her. But last night she was like, yeah, it was weird. And then now she's like sleeping. I'm like, girlfriend, no, this is the sleep that we need at night. Huh? Mm hmm? Mm hmm? Anyways, a lot of chipper chabber. I'll see you guys in a bit. Cause... And these are the donations that we got to take out. I'm ready. It's nothing like the way that you adore me. I can feel love from miles away. And the light in your eyes tells me stories of that in a perfect place where I want to stay.
rings on your cheeks Cause baby in your absence life is boring So I'll never leave Hello. ¿Cómo estás, hija? Bien, ¿y tu madre? Bien, gracias. ¿Qué estás haciendo? Nada, nada más aquí en la casa. Sí. Vamos a darle la, la, las cosas de mi niña, hija. Ok, sí, ahorita voy, madre. Háganlo, pues. Ok, ahí, ahí, ahorita paso por ti. Ok. Ok, vamos. Vale. Vale. Ahorita me cambio y pues ya, así está mi pelo, así me voy a dejar un pelo. O si algo, I might just clip it back here. I'm not sure, might just leave it. Alright. Alright, guys, so. Ya, pues ya nos arreglamos bien rapidito. Literally. Alright, so. Just going to my mom's because um, this weekend we're gonna be baptizing Analia. Literally, like, no me esperé otro freaking decade. Um, so because it's just like you know I just told the lady like as soon as possible it's just like well this weekend I was like okay so yeah this weekend we're baptizing Analia and so my mom wants to go buy her like you know like la vela and stuff and I'm like mom you don't have to buy her a vela they give you a vela there but she wants to go the extra mile she even wants to get her a dress but all the little dresses that we've seen the bautizo dresses um all of the bautizo dresses are like the size zero, which are six months, which that's the smallest. She's not even six months, she's like literally a month. So, um, yeah, I was telling my mom, I'm like, I could just like, it's hard to find her, like even just like a white dress, zero to three months. So if I don't find a white dress, I'm just gonna ponerle algo white. My mom's like, no, así su vestido, like even if it's big, I'm like, no, girl, that's gonna be way too big for her. I'm like, plus, un día que se lo ponen, literally, you know, le quiere comprar una cobijita de mi bautizo también. I'm like, mom, you don't have to. I'm like, 
I'm like, you don't have to do anything. You just have to be there. She's like, quiero. She's like, you didn't let me do that for my boys, so I want to do it for her. And I'm like, uh, so right now, right now, um, we might just go get the candle. Um, I'm not gonna get the dress just because the dress is too big for her still. So, and she's like, she can wear it later. I'm like, I know, but the whole point is que le quede now, you know. And si no le va a quedar now, like, which is okay, you know. I'm okay. It's just. I bought this salad. It's not like we're going to like oh, I think we need do to like, like anything, yeah. you know? So yeah, anyways. Wait. Off we go I to pick up my mom. Them. The boyfriend gets out in like literally an shoes? hour. So we're gonna try to do this in an hour. And yeah, um, the lighting is horrible, I know. The angle is horrible, I know. Pero si no grabo ahorita, no grabo. Y si no grabo, pues no grabamos y ya nos fregamos. So yeah. Um, yeah, the other day we literally went to like five stores looking for like un vestidito de batizo for the baby and they were all big. They were all like um, the size, it's like zero, one, or C and the zero, the size zero, which is their smallest size, is like a six months. And then obviously their cuter ones are like one year old. So, yeah. No haber vestidito literally the bautizo because I'm literally baptizing her at a month and a month and a week she's gonna be a month and a week when she's baptized if it was up to me I would have baptized her like day one ahí en el hospital uh, but yeah anyways off to my mom's alright so here we are waiting for my mom y me arreglé un poquito más I literally just put my hair clip in the back because my hair was flying off with the window my AC does work somehow it wasn't working but it's working it's been working for this actually this summer somehow but now my windshields aren't working so you ain't gonna catch me out in a rainy day <laughs> literally esos niños de veras que no se comportan anyways it's 145 bro we gotta hurry we gotta hurry you guys see how like i literally just crimped like the top of my hair and then like just this side right here and not the bottom and my hair looks great she's gonna be like porque no se arregla Sometimes when I'm not ready, she's like, why are you not ready? Santi was trying to mess up my hair. Santi, don't mess up your brother's hair. Your hair got messed up a long time ago, bro. I told you that. Don't don't touch it no more. It's going to get more messed up. Don't touch it. Leave it like that. All right, guys. See you guys. All right, so we are literally here at the store. It's like a Hispanic store. And I'm over here telling my mom, mom, you better not get the dress because it's not going to fit her. And she's like, pues con más adelante, when it fits her, cuando la saques, I don't even know what that means. Cuando la saques de la iglesia or something. No, like that, literally, yes. like when you take her out, but like later. And I'm like, no, mom, it's not going to fit her. So I don't even share the, share the apple, Santiago. I was like, don't get the dress because it's not going to fit her. And she's not even going to wear it. She looked like she was going to get it, but I hope she doesn't because I'm serious. She's not going to, it's not going to fit her. My mom brought them apple slices and are you gonna eat some? Yes. Let me see. Santi, they're not yours only. Yeah. They're sharing. <laughs> Santi, you're messing up your hair, bro. <laughs> yeah, Rami, if you're doing it on purpose, tampoco do it on purpose, okay? What? I'm just saying, because you're just like, Santi, you better share, bro. Because if you don't share, then they're gonna, your brother's gonna keep them all. Share, or you're not gonna get any apple slices when when you go to Walmart and buy your little snacks. Um, but yeah, anyways, just waiting now. I'm like, just get her the little vela packet. Don't even get her the blanket. And she's, I'm like, I'll just use a blanket from home, a white one. She's like, do you have a white one? I'm like, yeah. She's like, <laughs> I'm like, I don't, but like, I could probably get one at TJ Maxx for like nine bucks, and here they're probably like twenty bucks. So yeah, hopefully she just gets a candle because it's just like a one day thing, you know? Like, I followed it. That's it. And it's like, madre, you don't have to get her that. But yeah, anyways, esos niños de verdad que... I don't need the top thing, you know why? Like literally. Mirenlos. I can use the hole that you made. <laughs> I use a pencil. Oh my gosh, I swear. 
Um, and then excuse the noise, it's like the people on the road are working on something. But yeah, anyway, yeah, yeah. so a ver con que regresa. She's like, no, you did not let me get everything I wanted to get. <laughs> and that's her little Sofia walk because of her knee surgery. <laughs> she said, ah. <laughs> ah. <laughs> ah, her little baby Bible. Okay. Let's look at it. Look at it. Ah, oh, so cute. She's not going to show it. She's not going to show it. She's not going to show it. Oh. Look at her, so cute. She always wants to be so extra with her grandkids. Oh, and this is her being fudgy because she's hungry. Somebody feed her. She just woke up from her 100th nap. Alright. Alright, guys. So, I'm just going to go ahead and end this video here. Um, <laughs> I almost forgot to literally get my camera and finish and close this video off because... I always forget to close them off. Um, this video is probably going to be an eye video. Like, eh. You know? Pero something is better than nothing. Um, I forgot to go donate the stuff today. Pero I'll probably do that tomorrow. And, yeah, mi amorcito corazón. Gonna go donate that tomorrow and do a lot of other stuff probably. Um, but, yeah. Anyways, that's it. I'll see you guys on my next one. And I hope you guys consider subscribing. Adios. Son baptized by John in the waters of the Jordan, Christ, by baptism into death, may rise again to life with him, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Heart, you must strive to bring her up in faith, so that this divine life may be preserved from the contagion of sin and may grow in her day by day. The gazelle should receive baptism in the faith of the church, which we have all professed with you. Yes. Gazelle, I baptize you in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Blessed be God, who chose you in Christ. Okay. Unto eternal life. your family and friends to help you by word and example, bring it unstained into eternal life. Parents, this light is entrusted to you to be kept burning brightly, so that your child, enlightened by Christ, may walk always as a child of the light, and persevering in the faith, may run to meet the Lord when he comes with all the saints in the heavenly May the Lord Jesus who made the deaf hear and the mute to speak grant that you may soon receive his word with your ears and profess the faith with your lips to the glory and praise of God the Father. Amen. 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 Bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Go in.